Shall we begin? Start by cutting half a red onion into thin slices. Take some chilli sauce and mix into some grated daikon radish. Score the top of a tomato, then slowly pour boiling water on top of the tomato and repeat on the bottom side. Peel the skin of the tomato Next, cut the tomato into half Then slice Take a handful of mustard cress Rinse thoroughly Then cut the water Lay your sliced red onions across the plate Splay and arrange your tomatoes Lay down the mustard cress Into a medium hot pan Pour in a glug of cooking oil Then add some thinly sliced garlic Keep the pan moving to separate the garlic and careful not to burn them. Remove the garlic chips from the pan onto a sheet of kitchen paper. Then season with some sea salt. This is a 150 gram Scottish Aberdeen Angus beef fillet steak. Take out the beef from the fridge at least two hours before frying. Season liberally on both sides with sea salt and freshly ground black pepper. In the same pan and oil used earlier, turn up the heat so the pan is extremely hot and smoking. Place your beef in the pan, ensuring the whole surface of the steak is in contact with the pan. Turn over after you get a decent sear on the steak and repeat on the other side. Next, sear the edges of the beef. Turn the heat down and slow cook the beef for a few minutes under some aluminium foil until you've reached your desired rareness. Next, deglaze the pan with some brandy. Finally, place the steak on your aluminium foil and leave to rest for a few minutes. Your steak should be well seared and well rested, ready for slicing. Next, slice the beef at a slight angle, ensuring that you cut the beef against the grain. Cutting the beef at a perpendicular angle to the grain of the steak will ensure a more tender and succulent texture. Next, arrange the slices of beef over the red onions Repeat, this is not a I like to display the slices of beef like a fan with small slices on the outside getting larger closer to the center
Don't waste the lovely juices collected in the aluminium foil used earlier to rest the meat. Pour that goodness over the beef. Put some thinly sliced spring onions over the beef. Place the grated radish in the center. Arrange the salted garlic chips over the beef. Then finally, pour some ponzu sauce onto the plate. You can find a video link for the full recipe on how to make ponzu sauce in the description box below. And there you have it guys, beef tataki as served at the restaurants. So here we have the completed dish beef tataki and I've cooked it rare how I like it you can cook it medium rare medium however you wish but typically I think it's nicer to to cook it around rare medium rare so just grab some of this beef some crispy garlic chips that have been seasoned some crispy refreshing spring onions some of this lovely red onions this is more majorishi, which is the um, chili radish. Some there. So make that into a little package. Just dip it into the ponzu sauce. Tatakimasu. Mm. Oh, yeah. Here those crispy onions, they work perfectly with the soft and tender beef. This ponza sauce is really fragrant and tangy. You can really taste the citrus fruit coming through. Nice and sour. Some of that chili. Some lovely mustard cress. Add some more refreshing, clean taste to this dish. Shall we begin? Thanks for watching everyone and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.